a much-loved husband, dad and granddad. The family of Anthony Parsons paid tribute to the 63-year-old on the day twin brothers were convicted in connection with his death. Alexander McKellar pled guilty to culpable homicide. He was driving drunk when he knocked down and killed the charity cyclist. His twin brother Robert McKellar pled guilty to helping cover up the crime, which took place on the A82 near Bridge of Orkey in Argyll in 2017. Tony's family said it's been heartbreaking, not knowing what had happened to him in the years after he disappeared. A reporter, Ollie Dickinson, was in court. The twins Alexander and Robert McKellar had been due to stand trial for the murder of Anthony Parsons. But today, here at the High Court, at the start of what was expected to be a lengthy trial, Alexander instead pled guilty to the lesser charge of culpable homicide, whilst his brother Robert admitted to teaming up with Alexander to hide and then bury the body. 63-year-old former naval officer Anthony Parsons had been making his way home from Fort William to Tillicoutry as part of a charity bike ride. He was last seen late at night outside the Bridge of Orkey Hotel, heading in the direction of Tyndrum. He never made it. That was because the 63-year-old had been knocked down and killed by drunk driver Alexander McKellar. Instead of calling emergency services, he abandoned the seriously injured cyclist at the side of the road before changing cars, moving the body and eventually dumping it in a makeshift grave with the help of his twin brother. After hiding their crimes for three years, Anthony Parsons' remains were found close to a farm not far from the A82 in January of 2021. He's embarked on this charity cycle and effectively disappeared into thin air with a, no indication to them whatsoever about what had happened to him, no contact from him, and then no answers for so many years and for such a long time. Very, very difficult circumstances for anybody to come to terms with. And as I say, today, um, my, my focus and thoughts are completely with them. After accepting guilty pleas, the court heard that Alexander McKellar had a string of previous driving offences, including being convicted of drink driving and careless driving. He and his brother will return to court on Friday. Meanwhile, the family of Anthony Parsons have described the last six years as heartbreaking whilst paying tribute to their much-loved husband, dad and granddad. Ollie Dickinson, STV News at the High Court in Glasgow.